Hey, welcome back to another tutorial and in this video I'm basically going to show you the best and cheapest way to extend your home Wi-Fi. Now a lot of people might have problems where they have a lack of Wi-Fi signal for example if the router is downstairs in your sitting room and then you're upstairs in your bedroom you're not getting enough signal well basically this video will show you the best way to really do this this is the exact same way i have my system set up at home and this is the exact same way i feel most people should do it as well because it's really beneficial and it really does enhance your wi-fi system so starting off there's two equipments that you will need to purchase and this will set you back about 50 euro that's what i'm setting as the maximum obviously if you want the best of the best it's going to cost you a bit more the first thing you're going to need and i feel is the most important is a power line adapter sometimes these are also known as home plugs you can connect up to eight of these in your household and what happens is there's one designated power line adapter that connects to your router and then it sends your internet signal through your electrical circuit in your house and it picks up any other power line adapter connected and it feeds them your internet signal. So now the second equipment that you will need is an access point. An access point is basically a networking device and this bridges between your router and other wireless devices. So basically it acts like your router, it just feeds Wi-Fi signal as well from another location under the same network in your household. So now that you know the two equipments that you're going to need, how do you set it up? So the first thing you're going to do is establish what speed you're receiving from your ISP. So for example, I'm on 120 megabits per second, some people are on more and some people are on less. So once you've established what speed you're receiving, you need to get a power line adapter and an access point that can withhold up to the speed or more. So for example, my power line adapter can go up to speeds as far as 300 megabits per second and also my access point can go up to 500 megabits per second. So pretty much this is enough to cover what I receive from my internet service provider. Now moving on, what you need to do is go to the location where your router is, the router that's connected to your uh, ISP which would be like either cable or through phone line. Then what you do is take the first power line adapter, connect the ethernet cable to that and then connect it to the wall. Then the other end of the ethernet cable is connected to your router. And then the next thing you do is take the second power line adapter and go to the location that you need to extend your Wi-Fi and then connect the ethernet cable to the second power line adapter and then plug it into the wall outlet and then connect it to your access point. Now remember, these power line adapters should be plugged into a wall outlet. The reason being is if you plug it into an electrical extension, it'll decrease the Wi-Fi signal and it'll also decrease the internet speed you're receiving from the router. So I would recommend definitely connect these to the wall. It can work as well with an electrical extension, but wall is the recommended way to connect these power line adapters. So yeah, that's pretty much all you have to do. Now, in terms of setting up the access point and the power line adapter, usually you're given a utility CD. However, each company that makes the access points and the power line adapters, they have different utilities. But it's pretty much the same standard that you follow. This is the best way to set up your Wi-Fi system. It's the best way to increase it and it's probably the cheapest way that I can recommend to anyone at all. Like I said before, this is the exact same way I have it set up in my home and it's been working like this and working wonders for the past couple of years. This is literally mind blown how so many people don't know how to do this or just don't even bother to um, consider it. There are other alternatives and I would recommend you don't go this way. Now there's other equipment such as range extenders. Now the reason why you don't want to use a range extender is simply because what that does is it catches your Wi-Fi signal and then spreads it out some more. So for example, if you're getting weak Wi-Fi signal and the range extender catches the signal, what it's gonna do is extend that weak signal and you'll experience problems such as dropouts because it's fighting so hard to catch the signal and it's not working for it. So yeah, I wouldn't recommend the range extender at all. So that's pretty much it. If you have any questions at all, if you need any more help, um, you can always go to my website and send me a contact form 
and this is probably the fastest way to get a reply from me or you can simply just leave a comment in the comment section below thanks for watching and i hope this video helped you out i'll see you guys in the next one